If you are looking for affordable fashion in Japan, but you aren't a fan of the second-hand variety, then this store is definitely for you. We are at Shimamura Fashion Center where you can get all this and more without breaking the bank. Let's go! The cheapest clothes usually comes from second-hand shops, but used clothes are not for everyone. Facts are that there are some people who prefer to buy new. Shimamura is a clothing store in Japan that carries all that a store should. They have shoes, bags, dresses, suits, bedding, cushions, and so much more. All of these are for an affordable price. They also follow the latest Japanese fashion trends and carry larger sizes up to 4L which is basically 4X in western sizing. When you enter the store, right through the first door, you always see a few items on displays and usually these items are discounted or sale items. These items usually come in a wide variety of things and you can never really tell what the item that will be on sale will be. So here we have like a makeup bag or an organizer before we saw a tote bag. In this video we will do a bit of shopping while giving you a virtual tour of what Shimamura Fashion Center has to offer. At the entrance of the store is the shoe section and that is where we'll start this tour. So Shimamura caters to the entire family, which means it caters to women, men, and children. Here we have some fiber dry sandals for under 2,000 yen. They are the Kloshi brand which is owned by the Shimamura group. Fiber dry items are the opposite of the fiber heat technology that Japanese people use in clothing during the winter. So fiber dry items are designed for the warmer months and it absorbs and diffuses sweat well and dries quickly. These sandals are under 2,500 yen and comes in larger sizes all the way up to LL which is basically a size 24.5 centimeter. Here we have some clogs that comes in a variety of styles and design. Majority of them to the left side are more kid friendly and to the right side adult friendly. There is currently a price down campaign on these items and a pair of the ones on the left are for 700 yen and on the right they go for 990 yen. 
Majority of these also go up to size LL, which as I mentioned before is a 24.5 centimeter. They have a lot of character designs, which is amazing, especially if you're buying for children who are really into that sort of thing. And of course, it's okay for adults to be in it as well. But I really like the incorporation of popular animes and also Disney characters. We are still in the footwear section and now we look at a few more sandals that are definitely not meant for the beach. You'll notice that majority of the colors are neutral. They are either black, beige, brown or a mixture of those colors. And that is because these are the most popular colors that you'll see around Japan. These ones are priced below 2,500 yen and the largest size that I saw was the 24.5 like the previous ones. And while you might be surprised, yes, we are still in the footwear section of this store. This location is a tad bit big or bigger than the usual ones. There are two stores close to within 10 minutes drive from where we live. And this one is just a bit larger than the other one and carries a wider variety. So keep that in mind when you visit um, a Shimamura store. Some of them might have just a slightly smaller collection of items while others might have this vast selection like this one. Welcome to the bag section of this Shimamura Fashion Center and they have a wide variety of bags for different styles, shapes, size and purposes. It all depends on what you're looking for. So over here we have 
um, knapsacks along with a few other totes and duffel bags as well and in a few we'll show you a few cross bags and formal bags and so on. These bags are all under 3,000 yen. There will be a few bags that are over the 3000 price range and I'll be sure to point out those once we get there but all the ones that you're seeing right now are below 3000 yen. While majority of the colors are neutrals, you can find a few other hues here and there like blue, orange, you know, just a few others. Now, I did mention that this is a virtual tour video and a shopping video as well because we wanted to grab a few items from Shimamura as well. So we decided to just do both and this bag is one of the items that I was interested in. I was looking for something that is small, you know, a knapsack of course, that can fit a few items and has a few compartments here and there. And this one was a perfect match. As promised, the cross bags. The prices for these are all below 3,000 yen as well, and they range in. They range between around 1,500 to 3,000 yen. Over here on these shelves we have the more formal handbags and these all range below 3000 at about 2700 each and they are all surprisingly in black. There are you know basically the formal type of bags that you can buy here. We are not quite yet finished with the bag section. I know, it's massive, right? Um, here we have a few other knapsacks. Some of them are a bit more outdoorsy. Now let's take a look at some more handbags and totes.
as you can see, still below 3,000 yen. So this one can be worn two ways. You can carry it in your hand or it, com it also comes with a strap that you can put over your shoulders. So I like the versatility of this one. And it comes in two colors, black and brown. So fiber dry has popped up again and I've already explained that one before and we didn't spend too much time in this section but this this is the caps and hat section of the store which is right next to the back section. So the clothing section here is rather massive and it would take hours to show you every bit and piece of the clothing items that are available here. Um, so this that you're looking at is really just the female section. If you go to the back of the store, you will find the men's and children's section of the store. Also to the back are also some household items like cushions, carpets, bath towels and so on we are definitely going to show you those a little later on in the video but for now let's just browse through the clothing section and see what we can spot or find just to give you an idea of what to expect price wise shirts ranges from 500 yen to 1500 yen typically Skirts go for 700 yen to 1,300 yen. Dresses, 1,000 yen to 1,700 yen. Shorts, 700 yen to 1,500 yen. Two or three piece items, 1,500 yen to 2,000 yen. And typically, meaning a few items will differ but not all, not the majority.
aside from the price down items that I mentioned at the beginning of the video Shimamura also they always have like a couple of sales racks that are full of markdown items around the store and this rack is one of them a good time to see like a lot of these racks markdown racks are at the end of each season and that red sign that you saw earlier that is what tells you that the item is being priced down or discounted discount rates usually range from 50% to 90% and they tend to discount either items from the previous season for example now we're in spring so a, some price down items would be like scarves and sweaters but they also put on price down old styles from last season so for example some of these items that are appropriate for spring and summer that you see on the price down racks are probably from last seasons um not last season as in winter season but last year's spring season if that makes sense to you We are now in the more formal section of the store so here you can find suits and work attire. You might have noticed how neutral the colors are in this section and that is because business formal here in Japan literally means neutral colors. Now you might be wondering who wears a suit in summer? Well in Japan they absolutely do. They are just a lot lighter on the material wise so for example this jacket is pretty light and would be considered like a summer suit. Here is another price down rack that we found around this section. business attire section is usually a little more pricier than the regular clothing section and obviously you can imagine why um, they do have sales from time to time as well so you can look out for those uh, but usually these items range from around 
2,000 yen to around 6,000 and depending on the type of attire like um, let's say the attire that people usually wear to graduation ceremonies opening ceremonies at schools and so on those would go a little bit up more to around 7,000 yen While I'm not exactly a fan of all these neutral colors, I work in a Japanese space and therefore I adjust. So I decided to take this pink one because it was less neutral, if so to say, still a neutral color, but I liked the shade over the whites and the blacks. So I decided to just grab this one for work. Now we'll take a look at the household items that we can pick up here at Shimamura. These are some indoor slippers. And they are in a variety of colors, styles, shapes, sizes. And as you know, here in Japan, indoor slippers are pretty popular because it's cultural. Now here are some carpets and some mats. These are bath towels and they come in a variety of colors as you can see different textures and they're roughly the same sizes they're about now the household items that you'll typically find in Shimomura are very Japanese for example you'll have cushion covers cushions they also have futons futon covers pillows, pillowcases, just those general items when it comes to um, household goods. There are a few like floor seats, but not like a big majority, just a few, a small collection of them. And you'll see that often you'll find a lot of character goods here in Shimamura because they do have partnerships with like different franchises.
why did they put these cushions so far to catch and I'm taller than a typical Japanese this is impossible Minecraft. This is popular with the little kitties. These are futons and futon covers. Trust me, this feels as soft as it looks and I just love that pop of color. If you have made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching and go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Well, if you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed to this channel, please go on ahead and click the subscribe button. We post new videos every week about anything Japan related. I'm pretty sure we'll post something that you like. See you in the next one.